the classical primary lung cancer is also the one that will be mentioned first whenever somebody rattles off the different types of lung cancer. And that's the squamous cell carcinoma. And classically, they start in the areas of the lung which have squamous cells or squamous metaplasia, which is usually large bronchi. And if you're lucky, you could see a large bronchus here and it is obstructed by a tumor that shows infiltration into the surrounding tissues. I could see a very clearly well-defined anthracotic lymph node here. And I would suspect that this would be negative if you put it under the microscope, but if there were some microscopicness, I would like to modify my hypothesis. The uh, classical uh, microscopic view of a squamous cell carcinoma looks exactly like we would see in the skin infiltrating nests of squamous cells. And classically, for purposes of prognosis, you can always uh, divide these nests of infiltrating squamous cells, like we see here, like we see here, like we see here, into three different categories, well, medium, and poor. If the tumor makes clearly defined nice uh, visible pearls, which are little squamous nests, and they look like the uh, little nest that you see in seborrheic keratosis. They're called pearls. You can call this well differentiated. I think I could convince you that there's a little pearl here. And uh, just to keep myself honest, let's uh, go a little bit closer. And I think I could probably convince you this is a pearl. And if not, then I could blame it on the, uh, yeah, this is a pearl. This is a re relatively well-differentiated one. This would behave better than a moderate or a poor. If this pearl was not present, however, and all you had, for example, were tumor nests like this, perhaps, and you just happened to see in this tumor nest intercellular bridges between the tumors infiltrating squamous tumor cells, then you could call this probably a moderately differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. We can't go any higher. I wish I could find bridges. Uh, they're in the little clear spaces between tumor cells, and they look like little steps in the ladder. If, on the other hand, you didn't see bridges and you didn't see these pearls like you see here and here, and all you did was see nests of cells that kind of look squamous, but not very much, they certainly wouldn't be forming glands, then you could call it poorly differentiated squamous cell. And sometimes a poorly differentiated squamous cell might be called an undifferentiated large cell if the person thinks that uh, it's not differentiated enough to even look squamous. And quite frankly, they behave the same way because they are the same way. Uh, large cell carcinomas probably are poorly differentiated squamous cell carcinomas. Uh, thank you very much.